What's up YouTube? It's Coach Corey and today we're gonna do a gameplay review and we got a very special guest whose gameplay we're reviewing. We got Clash with Ash. What's up man? Corey, what's up man? Thanks for having me on the channel again. I appreciate it. No problem. Welcome back. Today on my channel we're gonna review some Barley gameplay but we already reviewed some Poco gameplay on Ash's channel so make sure to go check that out. Alright so Ash, what do you think of Barley? I love Barley. He's he's definitely my favorite thrower. I'm more of a Barley guy than a than a Dynamite guy. Me too. Uh, however, I still don't feel like he's my best brawler, you know. But but I like him. Do, you, do well, how do you feel about him? I really like him. Uh, not as so much anymore since his sort of nerf has balance changes recently. But why don't we discuss it some as we get into the game? But so why don't we start the first one? And we'll you go are and... Coach Corey after all, so I'm excited to have you coach me up, man. <laughs> yes, sir. Gotta love some coaching. All right, so let's go in three. Two, one. So all this is going to be smash and uh, grab, guys. So uh, we can do different formats maybe in the future, but it's going to be pretty simple for now. Yeah. So we're playing on Temple Catacombs. So you got a bull and a bow on your team. Unfortunately, the bull is collecting gems. Yeah. You know, can you just start by just telling me in the very beginning of a match as Barley, should I just be chilling behind the wall or should I ever go out? Like what should be my opening strategy? Yeah, so early on, you're definitely going to be chilling behind a wall. And the most important thing you're going to be trying to do is establish position. So, right, you do want to get hits, build up your super. But first thing, smash and grab. You don't necessarily need kills. You don't necessarily need a lot of damage to get the gems. So, yeah, you want to be chilling behind a wall and making sure whoever, whatever enemy is on your side of the map is not able to push up past you. A lot of times, flanking and smash and grab can cause you to lose your gems. Enemies sneak up behind you or on the gem carrier. That can always be a problem. Okay, one thing I do uh, that it could be awful or it could be good, but I try to like throw down cover fire to kind of secure an area. Is that yeah. is that okay, or should I be saving my ammo to actually get hits all the time? No, that's definitely fine, especially once you have control, or if you're trying to push an enemy like out of your spawn or something like that. Okay. I think with Barley, that's definitely fine, especially with his super. That's going to be the most important time you're going to use it. Yeah. So I sat on the super for a long time. Should I be sitting on the super on Barley? always when I have like a crowd situation or it's a critical moment? Uh, with Barley, not so much. Oh, look at this clutch moment here. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> 10 gems, let's go. Woo! So yeah, Barley, you're pretty much, you're trying to use your super fairly often if you can, and you're just trying to throw it as widespread as possible. Push people back. You're gonna end up doing more damage just pushing them back. It's kind of hard to use his super in a really small area and get people to stay in his super. So yeah, yeah. you had pretty good super usages. You kept it pretty wide. And yeah, that was pretty good. Nice yeah. first game. Thanks, man. Yeah, I felt like it was... It, do you think that, that that Smash and Grab is... Or actually, or Heist, I guess, are uh, Barley's mm -hmm. best game modes? Definitely Heist. Uh, Smash and Grab, he's pretty map dependent. I think he was better <laughs> before when his attacks were a little bit faster. Mm -hmm. Now there's a couple maps he's not very good on Smash and Grab. Uh, definitely Heist is his best one, and Showdown he's pretty good too. Okay, let's go into replay number two. I think that I switched up the maps as well. Okay, all right, in three, two, one. Okay, so we have Bone Box now. Yeah, how do you feel about this map? Um, I think he's probably a little bit better on Temple Catacombs. <laughs> mm -hmm. Bone Box, he's not bad, right? You, you think situationally there's a good amount of walls from the hide behind. He can use those walls well as a thrower. But the one problem with Bone Box and Barley is, this is what I was gonna say is what happens. <laughs> yeah, right? is it's really hard to not get flanked with all this grass. So there's a lot of tanks on this map, especially on the sides. So, I mean, like, if he can, you know, not be snuck up on, like, maybe if you have a bow on your team who has a star power, it might be a little bit better. But, um, yeah, it can be hard with Barley. He just gets you know, low health, you know, gets snuck up on. Yeah. So what should I be doing? Like, where in the map should I be kind of chilling? Should I just be, be hanging out with my my, uh, my teammates? Or should I try to establish, like, an area and try to keep people away? Or or keep moving? Or, you know, yeah. like, yeah. So you want to definitely be with your teammates, at least with one of them. Probably with your gem carrier. Okay. Um, and helping them out. Because Barley by himself, unless you know where the enemies are, there's a good chance he gets flanked. And he doesn't have much health, right? So once he gets flanked, it's pretty hard to stay alive now when you're playing no matter what brawl you're playing Corey, do you pay are you always trying to have like a really keen awareness of where every single one of the enemy brawlers are at all times yeah for sure it definitely matters a lot especially in relation to your teammates 
Um, and I think a lot of times it just helps you figure out where to shoot too. Just like yeah. if you know that there's you know someone right near your teammates or you see like shots off your screen, that's always a good way to tell where people are. Oh, uh, Pam got me here, man. Just like oh, you said. Oh, yeah. But thankfully your teammates still had 10 gems. Yes. Yes, so I didn't let him down too bad, but yeah, that was a uh, rip ash there. <laughs> but so you can see, I'm like really spammy. We talked about this on my channel too with the Poco mm -hmm. uh, attacks. But like, I have a bad habit. I think of like seeing an enemy and seeing red and being like, Vroom! yeah, <laughs> yeah. I threw, I threw my headphones off. My bad. <laughs> Oops. All right. So uh, I got really into that. But yeah. So do you think? <laughs> do you think on? Uh, <laughs> On barley, that that's a I'm getting a little out of control with my fire rate. Yeah, I think you're being a little bit too spammy. You're you tend to I see a lot of like times you're using your shots right away as you have them. Yeah. Um, probably with old barley that was fine, but now his attacks a little bit slower. It's easier for people to dodge. So a lot of times with throwers, now that their attacks a little easier to dodge, you want to try and have at least like two shots unless you have a really easy shot. It's gonna depend situationally a little bit. But if you're not, like, hitting your shots, it's better to have at least, like, two shots that way. If you throw one at them, if you think if you think they're going to dodge the other way, then you can throw it that way, too. And they're sort of, like, stuck. And they're at least getting hit some. And they're not just dodging continually. Okay, cool. Yeah. Uh, let's go to number three. All right, yeah. So three, two, one. Okay. All right. So good first two games. Yeah, we were actually uh, a way to come out, able to come out with a victory. And these are just random cues too. So yeah, right. I'm not super high in trophies though. So I think I'm like in three around 300 or so. Is it matched up right now? Is it based on overall trophies or is it just your individual brawler trophies? Just your brawler trophies. Okay. Yeah. So you can get a lot of people end up facing like top players if they have like one high brawler. Mm -hmm. So, but I'm sure whenever it gets you know a higher player base, that will be a little bit fixed. Yeah, and you can see, again, I'm kind of just spamming here. So I just need to – so what I should be doing it, mm -hmm. is waiting till I'm full in ammo, being a little bit more cautious, and then, like, picking my spots more. Right. Yeah, I would say that. Yeah, just trying to wait till you have two shots. Because you're seeing a lot of times you throw one and then dodge that shot. But if yeah. you had two, you know, you could throw it to where you think they're going to dodge. And watching this one back, it's like, what a mess I feel like I, I'm playing here. <laughs> it's, like, really bad. I did Thousand, get that Terra, though. Not bad, Super, yep. Pushing him out of the middle there. So I think the game before, you held onto your Super a little bit too long. What am I doing there? Like, what am I doing? <laughs> <laughs> this is where watching your replays, you can be like, oh. I In know, a right? moment, it seemed fine, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought I was dominating this match. Yeah. Oh, my God. Oh, look at that nine Darryl. health. <sighs> That's, like, the one thing about Barley is that yeah, I got smoked here by Crow. Uh, yeah, so this match, I, I kind of feel like I'm a mess. Uh, yeah, a bit. But I think it worked <laughs> out. Yeah, it did, it did kind of work out. And it's not like you were doing bad damage or anything. Yeah, so what do you, So what can I correct in this uh, on this match? It seemed like I didn't yeah. really have a strategy other than just run around and, and try to mm -hmm. <laughs> blanket so the map with or whatever it is yeah i think definitely the biggest thing was spamming attacks and then with that too it sort of allowed you to not heal up as well because another thing that happens it's like if you are like you know you get low in ammo and you're not full health well it's totally fine especially since you need a couple attacks to get a good amount of hits just heal up as well mm -hmm. um while you're doing that yeah that's good advice while you're reloading mm -hmm. yeah solid so, uh, so like maybe that could have for you so maybe that could have like avoided the crow death for instance yes uh, want to do the last one? Yeah, let's do it. All right. All right. Three, two, one. Okay. How do you like? How do you like Barley? Like, does he rank in your top half of of brawlers or? For smash and grab, he doesn't. He's okay. gonna be right outside it, basically. It depends. He's weird, right? Because on a couple maps, on a couple like maps for smash and grab, he's probably like a top five brawler on like Deep Hollows, Mushroom Cave. Um, or maybe right around the top five, but on the other maps, there's just like not great for throwers. Mm -hmm. So it's definitely, he's pretty map dependent for smash and grab. Gotcha. I'm going to ask you a clickbait question, uh, just for the hell of it. Sure. Do you think that Brawl Stars is ready to go global? Um, I think personally, I think once they add spectating and replays, it should be ready for global. I would think so, but I worry that the Brawl Stars dev team is too much perfectionist. They want it to be as great as possible 
So I'm not sure if the next update is going to be global or not. Okay. That makes sense. Yeah. I think so, that I'm, I'm with you, though. I think that when replays and spectating come, I think it's ready. Mm -hmm. uh, and then the next big thing, in my opinion, like the first big feature update after that, after global, yeah. would be like a tournament system or something like that. Yeah. A, a way to play uh, other than just ladder. But anyway, Agreed. I'm really rambling here. This match actually went really well. Yeah, you had a really good super earlier. Push them out. That's what you want to do. Push them back into their spawn, away from the middle of the gem line as much as possible. So that was a great super earlier. And, you know, my final question, I guess, on, on Barley is, mm -hmm. should I, on smash and grab, I'm assuming I should never really be gem carried unless I have to, right? Uh, yes, yeah, sort of. You definitely don't want to grab gems if you have a good gem grab on your team. He can grab a couple. Um, since he's not going to be, like, frontline brawler, uh, but you preferably your gem grabber is getting them. All right, cool. Yeah. Awesome. Well, thanks for the tips, man. I appreciate it. No problem, guys. Make sure to check out the Poco tips we got on Ash's channel as well. Put a link in the description in the comments. Ash, thank you so much for coming on the channel, man. Corey, it's always an absolute pleasure, man. Thanks for having me. No problem. All right, guys. Well, that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching, and I will catch you later.